This will be step 9 and today we are going to be creating all the repositories for our application. If you are joining for the first time, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. So I'm going to close everything. Close everything. So as I mentioned, we have a client. If you type on a browser, HTTP, da, 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 it goes to the controller. Controller talks to the service. The service talks to the repository. The repository is res responsible for now fetching the data from uh, the data store, makes a connection and uh, fetches the data for you and returns it back exactly through uh, the same channel. So we are going to create the repository in the repositories package. So I'm going to, now I need to mention that a repository this time is an interface, right? A repository is an interface and we are going to create it in a, a bit uh, a, a different way. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to say new and this time I'm going to say interface. And this time we are saying client repository Client repository now is going to extend. It is going to extend JPA repository. It's going to extend JPA repository, and I'm going to just say finish. So, all right. So now, when you extend JPA repository, you need to specify the name of the table you want to assign or the name of the model the entity that this repository belongs in this case the client entity is the name of the entity so i'm going to specify client and you're also going to specify the primary key type so what are we saying we are saying that if we go to what is happening here so model client okay this is fine okay so if i go to uh, the models and I open up the clients, you can see that the primary key, this primary key, the ID column is of uh, integer type. So that is what you are going to specify in case of the repository, as you can see right here. So that makes it a bit difficult for us to copy and paste, but uh, we are going to still do it. So I'm going to kind of, let me just shift this a bit so that we see everything. But I'm going to still do it. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to just copy client repository, copy and paste. Let's see. So I'm going to call it um, contacts, contacts repo z3. Okay. So at this point, contact repository is created. And you're also going to change the type here to contacts. So this is what we are going to do for everything. So, so um, let me also continue pasting. So the next one is going to be yeah, okay. the next one is going to be country.
right, so I actually have created everything, but I think I forgot to mention something. We are we are going to actually annotate with a repository annotation. So let me just say a repository annotation. That is the annotation you are going to give to all of them. So repository, yeah. And that is what I'm going to do for all of them at this point. And then I'm going to also make sure I have the correct correct type for the model. For each of the repositories. So let me just do that at once. All right, so I've created all the repositories, but now you can see some errors. Uh, so basically, these errors are coming because uh, the namespace, uh, the package containing each of the models have not really been imported into each of the repositories. So I'm going to press Control Shift O on my keyboard. Control Shift O will solve the problem. If I save everything, you can see the errors are going away one after another.
All right, you can see we are done with creating all our repositories now. So basically we are done with the back end. We are now going to be moving to an interesting aspect and that is working with the HTML pages and that will be on step 10. I'd like to thank you for being there. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video if it has been informative for you.